Hey everybody, Tony here with Nothing But Car Reviews and today we're taking a look at a high mileage pre-owned 2011 Toyota Sienna XLE. So let's get right into it. So this paint color is going to be the Salsa Red Pearl and the interior on this Sienna is going to be the Ash Leather. And our powertrain is going to be a 3.5 liter naturally aspirated V6 engine made it with a six speed automatic transmission. Let's take a quick look at our back end here. And for 2011, a really sleek look for this van. And you can even see that with how they do the newer Siennas. They just look so futuristic, always ahead of their time. But there we have our cargo space. And if you want to fold the seats, all you have to do is pull up and then push it down. And then you can just pull it back up, lock it back into place. And they're very adjustable, so you can actually lean them forward or back depending on how the third row passengers want to be seated. And then we have our power lift gate there. Let's see if I can gas cap. There's a gas cap there. And we have heated mirrors. And then we have our 17 inch aluminum wheels down here. And as we go around to the front here, we have halogen headlamps along with halogen fog lights. And for a minivan, not bad looking. We have a little fog here on the headlights that can be fixed. But I really like how the grill and everything is kind of held up, even with all the front end damage from rock chips and all of that. Still in pretty decent shape. But let me go ahead and pop this hood. And there's that 3.5 liter naturally aspirated V6. Ooh, that was a slam there. But next we're gonna go ahead and take a look from the driver's seat. So not bad space at all sitting in the driver's seat. I can still kind of fit my legs underneath the steering wheel, have about half an inch to an inch of headroom here, and the seat bottom itself, just enough room to hold my bottom in place without leaning to one side or the other. So that's good news there. Over here, the driver's side door panel, we have all auto, up and down windows there, power. And then we have our power door locks here. We can lock the windows here. And then over here, we have our mirror control. So we have left, right, and then we can power, turn all of those. And then I like this function here. You can actually push this down and then pull it back. And that activates the third row windows and they kind of just vent a little bit on either side. So really cool there. And then just go to the door panel there. Lots of map storage, a cup holder here, and then a little tray in here. But for the steering wheel, feels really nice, looks really great, the leather wrap here. And then we have our volume controls. We can toggle between our modes. So if we have AM, FM, and then XM or Bluetooth audio, we can toggle between those. And then we have our radio station favorites or trackless controls here. And then to the right side over here, we have our voice recognition, and then we have our Bluetooth controls here. And finally down in here, we have our cruise control. So we can toggle that there and then set the speed and all that. But next, let's go ahead and take a look from the passenger side. So from the driver's seat here, I have about an eight way power seat with power lumbar support. And then we have a manual seat down here for the front passenger. But I really like how they incorporated these armrests here and they still seem to be in perfect working condition, no squeaking or anything like that. And then for our glove compartment here, we even still have our owner's manuals in this vehicle. And keep in mind, this has 181,318 miles. But the only issue I was able to find is just this right here. I don't know what's out on that, but it won't stay up. 
and then you have to lift it up when you open it, but probably an easy fix. Other than that, everything is working perfectly. So let's go ahead and dive right into this radio here. So we have AM, FM, XM radio, and we even have an aux input with Bluetooth audio, and then a CD player as well. And I like all the knobs and everything. These are really easy to use in your 07 to 12, 13 model Toyotas. I had this kind of setup here. I had it in my Tundra. I really like how you can just toggle your Bluetooth on, toggle the aux, all of that. But up here, we have our, it shows when our doors are open or closed, what the temperature is outside, the time. And then of course, we have our backup camera there. And then down here to the shifter, this is faded just a little bit up here, but we just pull down, reverse, neutral, drive, and then go over here to shift manually from the shifter itself for all six of those speeds. And then over here we have our automatic climate controls, so we can sync that over here, and then we can adjust the temperature manually for the passengers and then we can even adjust the rear tip here. So you have uh, triple zone climate controls which is really nice to have. Down here we have our controls that actually toggle what's shown on the screen up above where the backup camera was. So we can toggle those settings and all of that. And then we have cup holders here. And then down here we have our heated seat controls, which actually still work perfectly. I tested them out earlier. So we have that for the driver and front passenger, and we can mess with the actual heat output. And then we have a 120 plug in there. And we actually have one more down there, and then a USB and aux input there. And then just a little casual storage in that pocket there. Over here, two cup holders, additional center console cubby storage here, huge, really like that. Let's go up here. So from over here, we can actually open our doors. If you can hear that, that was the second row passenger side. We can open and shut those power sliding doors. We can open and close our power lift gate here, and then we also have a one touch tilt or sliding power sunroof. And we can do that one touch open and close as well. So a lot of cool features on this Sienna. But before we go ahead and take this test drive, we're just gonna go ahead and check out the rear seat room. So from the second row here, tons of space surprisingly. Have about an inch of headroom. And these seats actually feel fatter than the ones up front in terms of holding myself in here that's really impressive and just look at this leg room here awesome really awesome and then i can even slide my feet underneath the seat in front of me and that's just for someone who's 6'3 so just really really awesome room in here and if we can get a quick look up here we have our rear ac controls here and we can set the auto mode there adjust the temperature adjust where it's going feet or these top vents up here and then we can just cut that off using that button right there. But also, these power sliding doors are so easy to use. There's a button right down there. And then we even have a sunshade. So for this XLE trim level, a lot of amenities that I didn't know that I wanted. So I'm really impressed by that. And then we can also even slide this second row forward and back. And look how much room I can make. And I can also even go back here to the third row and wow just tons of space here and even a shade here so I'm just I'm really I actually kind of want to buy this van right now I'm very impressed by it very impressed let's go ahead and check out what's in this back console here we can fold those down for cup holders a little storage in there and then we also have two cup holders storage here. And then even in the, wow, the third row, 
cup holders back there and I think there might be even a little storage back there as well so really really impressive but next I'm interested to see how this van drives so let's go ahead and take it on the road for a quick test drive so right off the bat really good power from this 3.5 liter v6 you can give it throttle coming out of corners and it'll go without squealing the tires and that comes from having just a regular v6 front wheel drive as opposed to having a turbocharged one or a turbocharged four cylinder give it a little throttle there I drove this earlier I took it on my test route and I was not recording so I'm having to do it again but it was a very very impressive test drive I mean everything in this vehicle has really held up with over 181,000 miles on it. it's really impressive I mean the leather still feels good looks good on the steering wheel on the seats the whole interior looks immaculate especially for a 2011 model with 180k plus on the odometer but it comes down the highway really nicely and I average probably around 24 25 miles per gallon doing 75 so really impressive numbers brake pedal feels really good especially for a minivan this one goes perfectly with what I'm driving and the only thing that hasn't held up on this van is going to be the steering wheel column which Toyotas are known for. They start making that little click noise, but they still drive fine. It's just like a, a clicking as you turn the steering wheel that you can kind of feel ever so slightly. But honestly, as I've driven this van, it's gone away a little bit, so that's interesting. Might just need some oil or something. <laughs> I'll give it some throttle here. And it's just really good pickup throughout the power band. I mean, this 3.5 liter V6 drives perfectly. No misfires, no shutters, anything like that. And the six speed is always ready to shift. I like how the eco mode in this van doesn't go away as soon as you put your foot into the pedal. You have to be gentle with it, but it's still there to help you save on fuel, which with these gas prices is definitely a plus. And the ride overall is very smooth very controlled and this really is a great van I didn't know it until I drove it because I've only driven the newer ones I haven't driven the older ones so this 2011 especially after this kind of mileage is doing very well everything works except for that second glove compartment over there but with this XLE you get so many features the power doors and 
having all the cup holders, the cabinets, chairs, the power sunroof, the heated seats. And just driving it, I really wish that I was in the market for one of these because it really is a bargain. Probably for what it was new and even in this market now, you can get another 100, 200,000 miles out of this van easily. But as we come to the end of the test drive, I'm just going to give my final thoughts on it and tell you all how much you can get this particular CNX LE4. So I want to give a huge shout out to Chevrolet Buick GMC of Murfreesboro for allowing me to review this 2011 Sienna today. I'll leave a link below to the vehicle in the description as well as a link to their entire used inventory throughout here. But final thoughts on it, really, really impressed with this van. Like I said throughout the review, it's held up very well. All of the bells and whistles work, drives fantastically, and it's just a really, really good option if you're looking to save some money in these hard times and have some that'll go 100, 200,000 miles. And this one's only at 12,811 right now. So just a really, really good deal if you're in the market for a van like this. And finally, I just wanna let you all look at the key and the key fob. So there we have the lock, unlock, and then we can open either door from the outside, hold that for the power lift gate and then the panic button. And this one even comes with two keys. So another plus for this van in particular. But with all that being said, I just wanna thank you all for watching the video. Please make sure you like, comment if you have any questions or concerns about this van and subscribe if you liked what you saw today. And we'll catch you on the next video.